We're gonna go through a quick overview of this software program for contrast administration and how to incorporate it with the scans you have. So the basic thing is, let's figure out how much contrast we're gonna give them first. Once you figure out how much contrast you're gonna give them, then you input it here. So normally it goes off of kilograms of the patient's weight. So you'll go off of, um, sometimes it's one to one, so one cc per kilogram, or 1.5 cc's per kilogram, or two cc's per kilogram. So depending on whatever facility you're at, just follow the guideline. And so let's say you go off of one cc per kilogram. So it's gonna be 70 kilograms. So that's 70. I'm just making things easy, okay? 70. 70 kilograms. So 70 cc's of contrast is what I'm gonna give. And that's what I'm gonna give for, um, let's say we're gonna do a chest, abdomen, pelvis today. So if we do a chest, abdomen, pelvis today, um, the patient weighs 70 kilograms and you go off of one to one kilograms per contrast, you put that number here. This is how much you're gonna give them. So let's say I leave that here. Um, that's gonna be too long because I know that this is gonna be too long because from this amount of contrast that you're gonna give and if you're gonna go in that flow rate, this 78 seconds, which is also one minute and 18 seconds, it's too long because our scan time is gonna finish at 60 seconds. So once you push go, once you push go on the CT machine and you push go on this at the same time, the scan will already have been done, finished, before contrast is done. So this means we're too slow. So an easy calculation you want to try to remember, you can apply this to anything. So if you take your scan time, this is your scan time here. This is how much time we're gonna wait until contrast gets to the, to, um, the chest area, the heart, it goes through the venous phase, the hepatic veins, it goes, at first it goes through from your arm, from the AC to your heart, it takes about 10 seconds, and then it'll go to the arteries. Once it goes through the arteries, then it'll go out into your venous phase. So this is a 16 slice machine. We're gonna wait 60 seconds. Simple calculation is you'll just take the time that you're gonna wait and minus about 20 to 25. So you, once you minus 20 to 25, let's just say 20 to make it easy, right? So 60 minus 20 is 40. So you want your duration time because you want your contrast to finish before your, your scan. So what you're gonna do is this number, you want it around 40. So all you have to do is adjust how fast or how slow you're gonna go. So let's say we're gonna go slow. Where is that gonna take us? It's gonna take us longer because it's going slow. So if you go slow, this is gonna take longer. But if you go faster, like you're pouring water into a bucket, like you're going faster, that's gonna move to the number you want. What do we want? We want 60 minus, four, 60 minus 20, which is 40. So we're gonna get close, we're getting closer, 47. 44, 41, 39. If I want to leave it there, I can. If I, if I want to go even faster, oh, sorry, this is supposed to be 70. 37 is around 40, that's okay. If I want to go here, that's okay, that's okay. I can use any of this because I know that this is gonna finish before this and the contrast is gonna be where it needs to be when this starts actually scanning and you have 20 seconds left. So what you can do is when you inject, you can inject inside or inject from here or have your, your co colleague go in and check. You're gonna go in while this is flowing, you're gonna go in and check your patient. Um, make sure you get the okay to go and then check your patient, make sure the IV is working, make sure nothing's leaking, make sure the patient's fine. And once the contrast stops, all you have to do is come back out and the scan will get, will scan and be ready for you. So that's all you have to do. Get the time, 60 or, so for instance, I wanna check out another protocol. What I'm gonna do is, let's go to abdomen. Let's do abdomen with contrast. Um, let's go to the next series. This one is, this is a non-contrast. Why does it say five seconds? Hold on. I figured that out. That was a pre-contrast. This is a post-contrast. So routine abdomen pelvis with contrast. 
it's going to be 65 seconds. So 65 minus 20, that's all you have to do and make sure that's here. So even, even if this, you can leave this here, right? Oh shoot, I want to change this to go faster or slower, but roughly around that. And um, injection delay, we want no delays because if we have a delay, let's say we have a 10 second delay, that's 39 plus 10. Well, no, 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 no. What, what's gonna happen is this is gonna start and this is gonna start after 10 seconds. We don't wanna delay anything. We want to go at the same time. So this just always set it to zero. PSI, for pediatric, you wanna go lower, but for adults, you wanna go a little higher. And that should be fine. So that's all you have to do. If you have any calculations, let's say even this, if it's like 80, 80 second delay. If your protocol is already built here, just look at your protocol. You have an 80 second delay. All you have to do is minus 20, adjust this to get to around 60, and then you're fine. This is for venous face only, not for arterial, not for a head, for venous face, chest, abdomen, pelvis. Um, just look at your time, subtract about 20 to 25, and get that around here. Know your contrast, and that is should be the easiest way to do that, okay? Um, good luck. If you have any questions, ask, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. We meaning me or someone else <laughs> that's um, hopefully watching and helping out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao.